Okay, so um, good day, everyone. What we really want to achieve today is very simple: is to see how we can do mail match in email, especially from our Gmail. And what is mail match? Mail match is um, a procedure by which you can customize email you send to people. Take for example, now that you have an event you want to carry out maybe a conference, or you want to invite people to meetings with different um, duties. All you need to do is to first of all, gather their um, particulars, their records, and you key that in in your Google Sheet, which is the corresponding um, application package for Excel. You know, Excel is what we are used to when you're using Microsoft Office. But then the cloud um, package which represent that is Google Sheets. So, and it's one of Google Suits program. So all you need to do is to ensure that you set the records. Maybe the, you want to collect the names, the titles of each person, the first name, the last name, and maybe the essence of inviting them to the meeting, or maybe what duty or role you really want them to carry out when they come for, for that event. That's one. Then it's also applicable to, doctors can also use it as well. Take for example that people have already booked appointments for clinic and they just want to send a reminder maybe two three days before that's oh there uh, mr so 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 and so you have an appointment for a particular date that date will be there which will be different from different uh, you know different people and then you are coming to the clinic on um let's say a particular clinic maybe you know maybe you're coming to neuro or you're going to um different clinics uh, you know maybe for general medicine or general checkup and all of that you can you can do that you, whichever clinic you want to attend you can put it down i'm going to demonstrate that i'm just trying to describe it first and then thereafter we'll see how that is going to be done so once we have that already keen for different people in um in the excel in the google sheets you will then that you then go back to your gmail to begin to configure the gmail and then you merge it with the google sheets and you can send the email from the Google Sheet environment. So this is what I'm going to demonstrate right now. Yeah, now. Okay, so let's go. The first thing I like you to do is just type developers, developers.google.com. Just press that. Okay, so that will bring you here. Once you are here, you can search for um, mail match. Mail match, just a mail match and you press enter. Once you get there, scroll down from here. Uh, I think the first point, the first one here is your best bet. Create a mail match with Gmail and Google Sheets. Okay, so create, click on that. Once you click on that, you can scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down until you get to make a copy. You see, set up the script. Create the apps script project. You're not going to do any writing of codes or anything whatsoever. So once you get there, just click on this, make a copy. Once you click on make a copy, we'll just click on this again further make a copy as well again so okay uh that will bring you here that will bring you here that will open the google sheet for you and there are two records already keyed it keyed in in the in the sheet and that's all you need to do so all of this you can delete them and replace them with your own record so i'm going to give an example for example now let's just want to maintain the first name i want to maintain the last name but then i want to include you can insert and delete cells of, as you wish so i'm going to in include a cell to the left where i'm going to put the titles maybe the first person is mr doctor professor and all of that you want it you want them to be addressed that way so first name last name i'm going to uh, keep that and then recipient which is the email i'm going to leave it as, at that and then the description this could be that you want to hmm, let's say you want to remind them about the appointment let's say appointment i'm going to change this to appointment appointment okay all of this discount code is not relevant to our own case what can we do again um let's say what again appointment the appointment okay maybe description of the appointment uh okay appointment that's fine now maybe this one will be the the dates let's say dates dates of the appointment that are expected to come for the appointment so this email sends let's keep this because in this column is where we're going to have the reports the time and the dates that the email was sent out to different people so that's like getting you the report to ensure 
that your email went. So we're going to leave that. But here we can delete. See if I don't want to do anything with it again. I can delete this all if I like. We can say amount due. Maybe they want to. You want them to. There's a particular amount amount due that they expected to pay. You can leave it there. But in the alternative, you can also delete. Let us delete for now, so that at least we limit the option. So let's say this person is Doctor Michael Awuleyese, and his email address is Awuleye at yahoo.co.uk. The appointment at um, Neuro Clinic at the Teaching Hospital. Of course, we know that. Where you T H C, and then the date. Let's say the date of the appointment is um twenty third. Um, 23rd, 23rd October, Oct, 2025. Okay, that's fine. Uh, maybe we'll just tell him there, Dr. Michael Awole or Dr. Awole, do not forget your appointment at the neuro clinic on 23rd of October. That's what he's going to do. Okay, so we're going to say that. So let's say this is Professor, Professor James Ajan Lekoko. Let's say his email address is my m a w l e s c and then it's coming to uh, which other clinic now do we have? Let's say it's coming to new. It's going to physiotherapy, physio, physio department, departments of the O A U T H C. All right, and his appointment is twenty fourth. October 2025 and then another person is Miss Mrs. Mrs. Adija Dija's Kamar. Okay, and then our email address is say Maika A will lay at um, gmail.com. Appointment is coming to Gyne Gynecology. Okay, I don't know if that spelling is correct, pardon me. Oh, it's H C O A U T H C. Okay, so let's say appointment is 26th. It could even be 20, anything it could be second of uh, November 2025. Okay, that's fine. Let's say this, this, oh, records that we have let's make do with that let's make do with that let's make do with that so now the next thing is to go to our email the corresponding email here um okay the gmail actually of that same account so just say compose i click on compose okay so let me maximize this yeah, this is the recipients. You are going to use curly brackets, open curly brackets, two of that, two curly brackets, so it's also close. So the recipient is what we now go, go back to our Gmail. And this is the recipient. This is the email. So you copy the title rather than you typing it because while you are typing, uh, you may likely mistype it. Maybe, you know, where you're supposed to put capital letter, we are putting small letters won't be correct. So let's say this is your subject. Recipient is there now. You come in here now, also do the same thing. Say open and close. The recipients will now be, sorry, the subject rather. The subject will be, we can begin to type something from the, from the invitation. Invitation or reminder. Reminder of your appointment with Reminder of your appointments at the at the name of the clinic. We can put it there. At the go back to the Gmail. At the PC department, we'll see something like that. You now click here to copy that so that that will represent the contents there. You can then say there. Open and close curly brackets. Two of that. You want to say there, you want to use the title now. There, doctor, professor, this is, and all of that. You copy, go back, copy there, put a comma. There, oh, there, doctor, 
then put the name open to call it brackets to open and to, to close so what's the name now first name i think we'll use the last name to address the recipients okay so come here and then put a comma now the body of the letter this is to remind you of your appointment at um the then put that there again you know you already have this appointment you can copy all of this anyway since uh, it's the same that's at the clinic at the euro clinic go to it see on then you put the dates close and open bracket again double you come in here to look at the dates you click here and you double the date so this is to remind you of your appointment at the what that means is neuro clinic or physical department or UTC. okay on dates it's open date 23rd october 2025 okay thank you okay until okay take care of yourself yourself as we expect you for as we expect you on the day of your clinic thank you yes sincerely um we can say we can put a cmd professor Okay, okay, CMT, CMD, O A U T H C. Okay, that's fine, and that's that, that's all you need to do. So, as it is now, you're not going to do anything here, you're not going to do anything here. All you need to do is, um, you will go back here and then click on the mail match. As you click on the mail match, you look at this place, this place will have changed when it has successfully sent the email so let's see now we're going to click on the mail march send email and then don't forget just say okay don't worry you'll say okay it's trying to get the approval from you to enable it to access automatically your account so since it's a trusted one it's gmail you just go ahead and say you 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 grant the asset so you click on advanced and then come down here uh click on this go to gmail ship mail march don't worry it's telling you unsafe but it's actually saved so you can select all here and then click on continue meanwhile we'll have to go back to copy the subjects type or paste the subject line of the gmail which is from the email gmail here you click on the subject everything here which is this reminder and then you go back and paste that here you click ok Sorry, they're done. That's, that's, that's it over there. It's done. It's done. At 22, 27, 25. That is done. So if you go back to those emails, now I'm going to go to my to my Yahoo mail and see whether I'm going to get that email. Okay, as confirmation. There you go. Reminder of your appointment at the Neuro Clinic, OUTC. Can you say, Dear Dr. Awole, this is to remind you of your appointment at the Neuro Clinic, OUTC, on 23rd October 2025. Take care of yourself as we expect you on the day of your clinic. Thank you. Yours sincerely, Professor Kenny CMD OETC. It's as simple as that. Okay, let me open the other email. I think I have um, my other email. Um, okay, let me see. Show me all. Yeah, there you go. Reminder of your appointment at the gynecology OETC. See the editing as well again. Dear Mrs. Kamar. This will remind you of your appointment at the gynecology OHC on 2nd November 2025. Take care of yourself as we expect you on the day of your clinic. Thank you. You can see that it's as simple as that. It's as simple as that. And this and many more are some of the things that we present at Akada Virtual Lab. Our YouTube channel, if you have not subscribed, is at Akada. So click on the subscribe button now so that when next we are posting other videos, you will be the first to see that and to take the benefits. So after now again, I'm also going to do another mail match to see how we can do that when we want to send letters physical hard copy letters to people you know maybe to invite their vocations and things like that as well so we're going to do mail match also uh send it to printer printing letters you know customized letters with one single uh, one single 
a draft of letters, you know, send it to over a thousand people and much more within a, in a twinkle of an eye. Just within 10 seconds, the letters will be ready and you can begin to send to the recipients. These are the magics that um, AI, cloud computing, cloud space can provide to you. Thank you. Cheers. Bye for now. Click on the subscribe button and you'll be fine.